Hello everyone, it's Yoshi 5 We're back with more Kingdom Hearts. In the last video, we started to, um... Excuse me. Uh, we started to save the gorillas from the Heartless. And, oh shoot. Let's do a pull. So we're gonna go uh, save these real quick. And like I said, oh darn it, yeah, these guys do a lot of damage. I keep reading about that. Stupid monkeys. Like I said last time, this, it really isn't a bad time to grind, because, um... The boss in this chapter, in my personal opinion, is pretty difficult. Actually, a lot of the bosses in this game are quite difficult. You know, not, like, extremely difficult, but kind of, like, surprisingly difficult, I guess. Um, so, grinding at this point isn't really a bad idea. In fact, I'm going to take some of these guys out right now. Because, right now, I'm level 12, and I like to be level, at least level 15, um, for the boss. Because I get a new ability at level 15. Um, at least for, for me, I will, because, um, when you... Uh, I think I already talked about this, I'll like say it again. Um, so funky. Um, when you choose the sword, if you if you keep the sword and you lose the rock at the beginning of the game, you get the scan ability at level 15. That lets you see the enemy's HP. And while that's not really a game changer um, for, for the game, for as far as the game is concerned, it really does um, help in the long run because then you'll be able to see which attacks um, do the most damage to your enemies. That's good. And you know, if you where is all the heartless at? Okay, there we are. So, it's not really the um, scan ability will be the deciding factor in, the, in this chapter's boss fight, but normally I think that's a pretty good place to be for this chapter's boss, if you're going the route I took, you know, going to World 3 instead of World 2 first. Okay, so, we're gonna, we're gonna go and save the other gorillas first, though. So, first we wanna um, go back up to the vine area, and we're gonna wanna go to that, um... What was that area called again? It's like treetop or whatever. <laughs> um, well, you'll see when we get there. And next. And more vine swing. Yay. Yep. Come on. <laughs> yeah, this, this part is just plain, um, honestly kind of pointless since then we got all the treasures here. I believe. Okay, uh, anyway, finds two. And, like, <laughs> sorry. I'm always paranoid about this area because I'm always so sure I'm gonna get lost here, but that's really straightforward. In all honesty. Uh, yeah, we wanna jump in this fine, and then we should be at our next destination. Almost there, and off. Okay, climbing trees. Yeah, that's the area we want to go to. Climbing tree, that doesn't even make sense. We're at, we're at like a tree top here. Anyway, so, there'll be some heartless here. Yeah. Oh, frick. Maybe there's a reason why I got a potion. Okay. Oh, yay, check. Yeah. Die, monkey. Um, I noticed that uh, Blizzard is actually a pretty good spell to use for, um, in this area. Because it's sort of a spread shot, and, be, and there's going to be a lot of enemies surrounding you, surrounding you usually in this um, chapter. Or not chapter four. Oh, and. Oh, yeah, this should be the last part list. Yep, there we are. And we saved another gorilla. And we got some old gummies. It really matters. Okay, good. We're more. We're. we're uh, mostly healed at this point. And, ooh, Goofy's not doing too good. That's kind of rare. Usually Tom's the one that's first to go out. See. But just in case, another potion. Probably should be saving these, but eh, it's not in the world. You know, once this world's done, we actually won't be using too many potions at all. You'll find out why later. But... Now, this is actually sort of a strange situation. You can actually... If you do it right, you can actually kind of catch the Heartless off guard, which is usually the other way around. You should, oh, darn it. If you see if you jump to this window, um, you can, you can kind of get the first strike off the Heartless if you're quick enough, but unfortunately, um, your party members have a really difficult time jumping through that window, so you may be fighting by yourself here. Okay. Blizzard! Yeah, see? Took them both out at once. Granted, I hit him quite a few times to keep late off. Stupid. Dodging monkeys. 
just in laying the uh, inevitable. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Both of my party members were knocked out. You're a strong monkey, aren't you? Okay. And we say it's Gorilla. And we got Shell G. No, I don't really care about that. And, okay, go with Donald Goofy, get a little bit of health back. That's good. Okay, and before I forget, um, I'm kind of surprised no one pointed this out to me. Or, um, at least, you know, caught me off it. There is a treasure chest in that ship over there. You can kind of see it. Well, I'm a little bit. Yeah, you can kind of see that red thing. That is a chest, although I'm pretty sure. You no, know, it's pretty. Pretty sure that you can't get it at this point in the game. Um, I don't even think it's anything really important. I don't think it's Dalmatians. I think it's probably a gummy piece of anything, but. Oh well. If I ever come back to this world and and if I can get it then, then I'll try to get it, but I don't I don't think it's really necessary to complete the game, so. And actually another thing I was wrong about, I know I was really wrong wrong about this world. This world is actually kinda of confusing if you think about it. Tree Top does not go back to the tree house. It actually goes to a really weird area where there's not really anything there. Here, I'll just show it real quick. Yeah, so it takes you to this place, which goes down to climbing trees. And this place is just kind of weird. At least the treetop part is weird, yeah. So anyway, we can go back to the tunnel. And here we can go back to the sliding minigame to get back to the camp, because that's where we want to go. And I was wrong. You do. You will be playing this minigame again. Actually, we might play it one more time, but... Yeah, that's false! Mm. Maybe it's just because I'm not... Um, maybe it's just because I didn't really think of a plan to really talk about this world, but this world can be quite confusing because the... Uh, <laughs> whoops. Um, how do I explain it? This world's like... Um, it's kind of hard to... This world, you know, like most worlds, you know, you just... It's pretty straightforward, like, oh, there's this person in trouble, let's go help this person. The trouble person got kidnapped, and then you help that person, but... This world's kind of strange. You spend a lot of time just riding around trying to figure out what to do. And we don't care about these enemies because we can't really do much for them anyway. Although, although, although they will be important later. I will say that. Actually, first we want to go back to the tent. And actually, there won't be anything in here. Well, let's just heal up real quick. And then when we exit the tent, something should happen. Oh. Ooh, that doesn't look good. All right, let's go take care of it. So, oh, I mean, what am I talking about? Let's go check it out. Over here to the bamboo thicket. That's where the gunshot appeared. And Clayton's pipe? What's that doing here? Oh! Not you, Sabor. Oh, speaking of which, another thing I, I did wrong and no one caught me. Um, corrected me on. This guy's actual name is Sabor, and I called him as, called him Saber. So sorry about that. So yes, I have been mispronouncing his name. And, again, uh, this guy isn't a cheetah, he's a leopard, which, really, since I was studying biology last semester, I should have knew that almost immediately, but, anyway, yes, this guy is a leopard named Sabor. Oh, frick. And he killed me. Ugh. Okay, let's try that again. This guy moves pretty fast, but it shouldn't be that difficult. Just make sure you don't catch yourself, catch yourself off guard. Okay. Now, yeah, we got the gunshot. And just in case, I'll put another potion. I'm running out of potions, dang. Oh, well, shouldn't be the end of the world either way. Okay, back to the bamboo thicket. Alright, now oh, shoot, I'm gonna readjust my glasses. I'm kinda of falling down. Eh, I can't skip this cutscene. Oh well. Okay, let's try this again. If you actually swing your keyblade when this guy is jumping at you, um, you'll you'll dizzy him. I'm not sure if you get tech for it. I'd be surprised if you didn't. But. Anyway, that's a really good way to get a lot of damage off him quickly. If he's so, like, if he's trying to, yeah, if I hit his kid in my key plate there, he'll probably, he probably would have staggered quite a bit. And he's back on his feet, yeah. And then he, 
Also something else that he does, he jumps into that bamboo thing and he also jumps out at a random point. Dude! He pulled off a combo on me! And maybe I am a little bit under level. Did, is it just murder? Did he take me out in two hits? Uh. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is bad. My, no, my items are not still there. Here. Sometimes a potion appears randomly in this barrel. And it didn't this time. Oh well. Okay, back to the bamboo thicket. Okay. Okay, round three. Jeez. Dude. This is not going any better than last time. <laughs> yeah, go, go get him, Donald Goofy. I'll let you take care of him at first. Ah, he is gunning for me, though. Just in case. Yeah, no doubt about it. This guy's really trying to take me out. Oh, oh shoot. Oh yeah, I did get tech off that. Okay. So you, okay, this guy shouldn't have too much more health left. Where's he? Okay, he's right there. Oh, dang. Yes! That poor Sabor. Tarzan, where'd you come from? You didn't do anything. Nice, we got a white fang. Oh, I guess that's an accessory. That will actually help us a lot. Uh. Oh, jeez. This doesn't look good. Oh well, we can always use a few more experience anyway, so I'm not worry about it. Oh good, we got another potion. Okay, so, just let me say real quick, that question is actually kind of misleading. Um, if you go back to the tent, Jane and, uh, Turk, that's, that, that, that's the name of that one gorilla. Um, they won't be there, they'll actually be in a different area, so we need to go look for them. Oh, giraffes! Monkeys! Whoa. Okay. And, there we are. Yeah, I know I could just run out the area and, um, leave these guys alone, but like I said, I'm probably gonna need, um, to get a few more levels up before this chapter's over, which is actually not too far away. So, ooh, a, oh, a protect or chain? Whoa. I was not expecting to see that. Yeah, okay. Ooh, if he got some more AP, that's gonna be good. And, I think the enemies are gonna be gone. Oh, nope. We still have, uh, uh, Stupid bouncy wild. Looks like shark. Huh? Okay, now that should be good. Okay, so it looks like we got quite a bit of stuff in that last uh, few minutes. So first, we want to go to equipment, and um, yeah, we'll get more defense there. But we'll probably yeah, we'll give Sora the um, white fang, and then. We'll give Goofy the... 
Yeah, protect. Actually, no, I changed my mind. We'll give him a protect chain, and we'll give Donald um, a protect. Proterra tra chain, I'm sure I'm the correct way to pronounce that. Um, because Donald's going to be needing a little more defense because he's been dying a lot lately. Okay, now, knowing my luck, we'll be also getting some more enemies in the camping site. Yeah, camp. So hopefully we don't die there. Oh yeah, what do you know? Oh great, now Gucci's out. Okay, good. Yeah, these guys really... These guys do do a lot of damage, but once you learn the correct timing to counter their uh, attacks, they really aren't that hard. Although I should point out that, um, just keep in mind that these bouncy wilds sometimes do use a slingshot against you, and that does do a fair amount of damage. Okay, so grab the money. And like I said, sometimes this barrel has, um, a potion. So we'll check that out, although this time it doesn't. And... Yeah, we can attack these guys too, I guess. Alright, so... Oh, darn it. Uh, let's see, what is today? Today... Kinda of weird for me to be um, vlogging on the Kingdom Hearts uh, <laughs> videos, but... You know, we are going to be just doing a lot of grinding, pretty much, so might as well do that a little bit. And knowing my schedule for the rest of the day, I don't think I'll have any time to record Super Mario Galaxy 2. It's kind of a shame, because I'm really close to finishing it. But, you know, them's breaks. Okay, come here. Heartless. Yeah, see? Where's that? Yeah, see, that, that does, actually does like, quite a bit of damage. Luckily, she didn't start doing it until after all these other guys left, but look here. So, you know, like I was saying, uh, today is January 30th, right? Yeah, today's Sunday, January 30th, um, 2011, at 7, about 7.30 at night. Huh? Hey, hey, where's Jane? What's wrong, Tarzan? Something coming. Jane, danger. Jane near near treehouse. Sounds like trouble. Let's go. Yeah. So she's gonna be near treehouse, but... Oh, wait, what am I... Oh, that's, that's what I forgot to do. I forgot to do something. Yeah, we can equip Vortex now, which, um, basically, if you're near a um, Heartless, um, but you're not really close enough where your normal attack will hit it, then Sora will kind of do the spinning thing, and you'll uh, have a better chance of, um of hitting the enemy, though some people don't usually like to equip it because it kind of changes your combo a little bit if you're not very close to an enemy, but, you know, you can try it out and see if you like it. It, it does help in some cases, especially with these power wilds that jump all over the place. Okay, and another uh, move we got probably a little while ago, but I just now um, was able to equip it, is Goofy's charge move. Sort of? No, um, Goofy just pretty much runs at an enemy and he does more damage than simply just swinging his shield around, but that's definitely good. Although it does use up MP. Although Goofy doesn't really have anything else to spend his MP on, so it's definitely not a problem that he um, uses it now. I mean, that he um, uses his uh, charge move now. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna want to head back to the treehouse, and yes, we have to go through the vines area again. Well, at least I think so. Knowing this place, there's some shortcut that I completely forgot about. They'll cut this trip in half, but. Oh well, this is probably the last time we really didn't go to the vine area anyway, so I'm not going to worry about it. And if... Oh shoot. I guess we go this way. I hope. Yeah. Um, hello? Oh. Okay. What the devil? How come jump... Hello, game. Okay, that was really weird. It's like the vines are swinging at the wrong time, and I can't jump to the next one. Uh, well, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, there we are, finally. Okay, that was really weird. Okay, vines two. 
And okay, just one second. We'll just head on over to over here. Almost there. Okay, finally done with flying theory. And up here will be not really a mini boss, but um, you know, it's just a little battle. But I don't think you have enough time for that for in this video, so we'll leave it off there. Well, guys, this has been uh, Kingdom Hearts. Um, thank you for watching, and well, you know, peace out.